How does GPS works for free? The Global Positioning System GPS, is a satellite-based navigation system used to provide information about one's location and time. It's crucial for military, civil and commercial users around the world. GPS is a common piece of technology for now, you must have used it at least once. Let's see how it actually works. The concept of GPS is based on time and the known position of GPS specialized satellites. The satellites carry very stable atomic clocks that are synced to one another and with the ground clocks. Each GPS satellite continuously transmits a radio signal containing the current time and the data about its location. The time delay between when the satellite transmits a signal and the receiver receives it is proportional to the distance from the satellite to the receiver. A GPS receiver monitors multiple satellites and solves equation to determine the precise position of the receiver and its deviation from true time. At a minimum, four satellites must be in view of the receiver for it to compute the three coordinates and the clock deviation from the satellite time. This system was developed by US Department of Defense and is under the ownership of US government. Due to this, the United States government can selectively deny access to the system. This happened to Indian military in 1999 during the Kargil War. To combat with this, several countries have developed their own satellite system for navigation. Russia's GLONASS system was developed around the same time as GPS. However, it did not manage to reach the same level of global coverage until roughly a decade after the US system. It is used by Russian military and today actually provides more accurate reading about 2 to 3 meters compared to GPS at best 3.5 meters. The Indian Regional Navigation Satellite System was only finished in 2016 and is not yet fully operational. It covers India and the surrounding regions. China, Japan and the European Union are also developing similar systems but are much farther behind. Now we got the idea of how it works. To know why the service is free, we'll have to look at how it was developed. The idea originally came after Russia launched the first ever satellite, Sputnik. American scientists realized that they were able to calculate their position by interpreting the signals sent down from the satellite. So they started working on the global positioning system to give US an edge during the Cold War. But by the 1980s, the system was limited to military. However, in 1983, a Korean airline flight was shot down over Russia after accidental entering prohibited airspace. To avoid similar accidents, US President Ronald Reagan announced the existence of global positioning system. He promised to make it available for public. After a decade, 24 satellites were launched costing 10 to 12 billion dollars and millions of dollars per year. But they didn't provide much accuracy for the public and intentionally degraded the signal making it weaker. This was done to give US military an advantage if in case anyone wanted to use their own system against them. But in 2000, when Bill Clinton finally removed the restrictions for civilians as these advantages soon became irrelevant. Today, GPS is maintained by the US Department of Defense and includes members from Departments of Homeland Security, the Joint Chief of Staff and NASA. GPS operating cost is roughly estimated $750 million a year and is available for free but paid by the taxpayers in the United States. The GPS was actually made free to use because of the huge economic benefits GPS could provide to companies in America. The US still could choose to disrupt the system which will lead to huge loss for many businesses around the world. Do you use GPS system on daily basis? Let us know in the comment. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.